Right, so this slide is a visual representation of how we apply the scientific method to the acquisition of wisdom. The river represents unpolluted wisdom. The research factory represents the influx of information from research workers, which might or might not add value to the river of wisdom. In order to decide whether it does add value, we have to filter it first through the governing and undisputed scientific laws of physics and chemistry, then further filter it through the organising principle of evolutionary biology, and finally through the research context filter, which allows us to see whether the conclusions from the research were justified. Well, inside the research factory, research workers are indoctrinated to this model of quality control. It's called the evidence-based pyramid. At the bottom of the pyramid, we have the lowest quality of information from personal opinion and anecdote. Next up the pyramid is information from experiments and the highest perceived quality of information is from compiled evidence. Major problem with the evidence-based pyramid is without context, it's information and not wisdom. Okay, so if we take an example of information flowing from the research factory and we put it through the filters. A recent study on Kenyan runners has suggested that calf elasticity is a determining factor in their success in distance running. This makes sense in light of the physics and chemistry filter because it would improve both mechanical and chemical efficiency. It also makes sense under the governing principle of evolutionary biology because we evolved movement patterns to minimise energy expenditure. However, if we get to the research context filter, the only way that conclusion would be justified is if the Kenyans were compared to a performance matched group of non-Kenyan runners. This was not the case. So having passed the first two filters, this piece of research does not contribute anything valuable to the river of wisdom.